Hey guys, it's Marty from OwingsArt.com and today we're going to take a look at these Prang watercolors. These watercolors are very affordable student grade watercolors made in Mexico by the Dixon Tire Condoroga Company which goes back to their very old American pencil manufacturer uh, but they've since been bought out by the Fila Company based in Italy. Not to be confused with the sportswear company. Fila brand uh, based in Italy makes a lot of different things and you can look them up. This paint set comes in a very hard plastic, super durable uh, sort of case here with these oval shaped pans and it comes with a nice little uh, nylon brush. The nylon brush um, is a you know, synthetic brush obviously but nice if you're just a student and we'll test that out a little later. Uh, but what we're going to look at today is we're, I'm going to swatch these paints out um, and I'll use, uh, I'll do a demonstration, a drawing demonstration. I'll use these items here you see in front of you and then we'll, uh, you know, give these a rating uh, on a student grade uh, basis. But here, here they are. Here's a little bit more statistics or information about these. They're semi-moist paints, which are interesting because if you add a little bit of water to them, they become sort of uh, like sort of peanut butter, um, kind of... Uh, a weird sort of consistency but I think that's sort of their claim to fame and then you get an 8 and you can buy these in an 8 and a 16 color set um, here are the colors that come in the 8 color set there's a few more different uh, types of colors uh, that come in the uh, 16 color set but um, there's no reason you can't make do with the 8 color set if you uh, are on a very tight budget now these paints you can pick up for about three dollars so they're not going to be very expensive and they last a good long time and uh, we'll get into what their uses are what what the ways in which they can be used and their different uses a little later on but just to give you an initial idea laying down the swatches here again these are student grade paints so Fila makes no uh, cl uh, claim or Ticonderoga or Dixon Prang makes no claim that these are anything um, other than student grade paints so really geared towards kids uh, students who want to practice color and things like that maybe do thumbnails with these um, some sketching so they, they you know and uh, definitely you guys know I'm not an art snob so uh, everybody needs to be able to get into art at at some price point and this is a really good opportunity to get into watercolor for a very uh, very inexpensive um, entry point so for three dollars you can get this set and I think the uh, 16 color set you can find for like five to eight dollars depending on where you look for them so here I was just kind of laying out the color just mixing some different colors together and watching how the paints run into each other uh, wet on wet and uh, they're, they're great they're nice and vibrant as you can see and they're good color uh, for um, any sort of work you might want to do in terms of like I said thumbnail or base sketching things like that so here we go now we get into the comparison here so the first thing I should say is we're gonna compare these to some artist grade paints which is maybe a little unfair these are the mission paints made in Korea but nonetheless I like to stack paints up against each other and see how they uh, see how they fare here's the Lucas Aquarelle 1862 a very affordable artist grade uh, paint that I also recommend if you're uh, beginning with watercolors and stuff. Here's the Grumbacher paint and you can see this is a student grade paint and the palette is much more muted. Here are some very nice French paints, the Sennelier. They're in my top five all-time greatest watercolors on the planet Earth. They're very, very nice watercolors. Love what the French do uh, with them. And here's the Daler and Rowney Aquafine. This is Daler and Rowney's uh, artist grade paint and it's really nice I I was very surprised by the quality of the paint and um, and how it it compared these are the Schmincke German watercolor paints which are paints I use every day in my work and my watercolor work because they're just excellent and you can see uh, the vibrancy and the color on those of course they're a lot more expensive than the Prangs by a long shot and here's the very excellent Holbein paints made in Japan they're a little bit more uh, I'd say on the um, gouache side if you don't wet them down but um, they're excellent paints as well there's a big difference sort of in the quality of the paint so even though the colors might be as vibrant or look as nice they're not as light fast the pigments aren't as pure they're not as well 
uh, manufactured and made. So that's where the price savings come in. And uh, so if you're willing to sacrifice that to get started, there's that. Well, the next thing I'll do is a little painting demo. So first I'm gonna lay out a sketch and then I'll fill it in with these colors here. And again, this is just a, uh, an ordinary sketchbook that I'm gonna use here. But if you're doing some sketching and drawing, it doesn't have to be an expensive uh, endeavor. You can get away with some very inexpensive watercolors and a nice sketchbook. And I think people spend a lot of time trying to make a masterpiece their first time out and every page has to be perfect. I'd say forget about that, forget about comparing yourself to others. Paper is very inexpensive and so are watercolors uh, if you can get into them at a nice entry point like these uh, or some other student grade watercolors and just practice. So practice, practice, practice and don't worry so much about being perfect and then I think that'll free you uh, and you you'll feel a lot more at ease and your art will actually be better and over time it'll just improve and then you'll get to that point where you start to really like what you're doing. Okay, so here I'm just going to finish up with a little bit uh, warmer color on the light side. 
of this uh, portrait so just adding a little color and warmth to the to the side where there would be light and one thing about these uh, watercolors is they tend to change color when they dry so they go on wet very vibrant no and as they dry they like most watercolors they they tend to fade a little bit so just be mindful of that when you're using them but other than that uh, nice uh, I had no problem at all with the color here, and I think it came out kind of cool. Hey guys, I wanted to also mention that I upgraded my mic. I was using just my headphones with the you know, built-in mic on it, and then I upgraded, got a little uh, Audio-Technica mic uh, that works, I think, pretty good, but let me know if you like the sound or not. That um, that you get with the new mic and I'd be interested to hear feedback on that if you have any but uh, sometimes people are particular about sound or video quality or angles and all that stuff so I'm just interested to hear what you think so drop me a note uh, when you get a chance in the comments section I'd like to hear from you well time to rate these paints and um, I think just an overall initial impression is they're really good for a student grade paint you know they make no claim to be an artist grade paint they're not gonna say they, they have great light fastness or the pigments are pure or what have you but if you're just uh, uh, you know have kids and you want them to do art projects or you're a student and you want to practice color theory or even if you're an advanced artist and you just want to do some sketching thumbnails things like that and add a little color for ideas I think these paints are just fine for that um, so I color 8 vibrancy 7 pigments are strong and overall value hard to beat these if they're three dollars for a set of eight right almost anybody can afford that so the overall rating is 7.5 I really like these um, and I can recommend them I think great for like I said for kids and people who just want to uh, practice watercolor maybe you're just starting with watercolor and you don't want to spend a ton of money on a really really high-end artist grade watercolor set these are great well all right this is uh, this is it really um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already comment I always love to hear from you guys and I try to be as responsive as possible and don't forget to share the video if it was helpful well, this has been Marty with a look at the Dixon Ticonderoga Prang watercolors. So long, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.